Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the channel and today we're looking at a wonderful update that has come to Instruments of Destruction which now brings workshop support. Early access workshop support so there's still some things to work out with it but that's what a workshop's all about. Working things out in the shop. It's a workshop. But anyway of course that means that the community is going to be uploading all kinds of crazy creations and this is one of them. This is a massive missile on a turret here. So if I go ahead and press this button, then press this button. We just launched a, miss a missile right through it. Oh, it's coming back. <laughs> oh, it's going so Okay, and there it goes. Wow, that looks epic. That like legitimately looks like a spaceship taking off now. Bye. All right, we're definitely gonna have to take a couple more shots with this thing, but let me show you guys the workshop first. So. We got Steam Workshop now, all kinds of crazy stuff. And this one actually, for some reason, doesn't have the thumbnail. I'm assuming that's just a bug with the workshop that is gonna be worked out very soon. This game has been getting updated like every couple of days. Just little bug fixes, improvements, all kinds of stuff. It's really good to see it getting frequent updates like that. So I'm sure the workshop here is gonna look very different very soon. But uh, I've gone ahead and subscribed to a handful of items that caught my attention. So the one we're looking at right now is the Horizon Missile by Jappy here. Also, you may notice that this is a new island, a new testing island with an assortment of different buildings, which allows you to test your creation for all kinds of different purposes. You want tall buildings, you want wide buildings, you want short buildings, you want towers. You got it all on this island. This is actually a second new test island as well so all kinds of updates been happening lately all right so let's go ahead and aim right at this building and let's see what happens this time oh right through the middle oh yep just literally a hole just a hole through the entire building <laughs> look at that all right i got a brilliant idea i'm gonna try to do that exact same thing one more time but i'm gonna do it super slow motion and have the camera on the other side of the building so hopefully I'll be able to see the uh, the rocket fly right through it. All right, we're at 10% speed. I'm activating thrusters. I got to keep in mind the speed that I'm at here. Oh man, look at that. Look at the thrusters in slow motion. So cool. All right, and release. I hope that this is going to release okay. All right, it's going kind of down, but I think it's going to hit. Here we go. Looks all, everything's fine from this perspective so far, and things are no longer fine. Where is it going to come out? Oh, it comes out of the side there on the left. And there we go. It's beautiful. It is absolutely like, I can't, my camera doesn't turn that way, but that is absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful too. The entire building is now falling down. Let's speed it up a little bit. Wow. That was way more destructive that time. The entire building is gone now. All right, let's move on to some other creations. All right, up next, we got Super Stealth Tank by Jenkins. By the way, look at this spawn animation. Is that epic or what? All right, let's see here. This thing looks pretty compact so far. It's got your normal tank steering. What does E do? Okay, E shoots. There it goes. I missed everything. All right, let's shoot at that building. I think these are, yep, these are, uh, these are explosive cannonballs here. All right, so I believe I'm supposed to actually, oh. Uh oh, our turret seems a little broken. <laughs> Hold on, I think I can, there we go. I can aim the turret up and down and left and right. Look at that. All right, let's turn our attention over to this tower here and give it a good firing. Oh boy, oh, they bounced it. I, for some reason I thought this was a sticky bomb, but I guess not. It's actually, I actually kind of like the, oh, that was satisfying. Everything's satisfying about this game. I feel like that's just, that's the theme of this game is satisfying. Oh my, you can just keep shoot. These cannons have a ridiculous fire rate. It almost feels like unfair. Look at that. You could cause some serious damage. I mean, case in point right there. All right, this game's dangerous. This, this game this game is dangerous. It's, it's, it's got too much satisfaction levels. All right, so this build is pretty straightforward. Very aesthetic, very well designed. Good use of wedges on this thing. Let's look at something a little bit more unusual. This is by Raramulam, the Mantis 2. Oh boy, here it comes. Whoa, look at this. All right, this looks like it's gonna be interesting. Another, oh, look at that steering. Oh, this thing looks so cool, doesn't it? All right, we definitely got some other buttons. Oh my goodness, that looks deadly. That's a lot of force. Oh man, there's um, there's overdrive blocks on the hinges themselves, causing them to go so much faster than normal. Look at this. All right, how much do you want to bet this is just gonna go straight through to the other side of the building here? Oops. All right, well that was uh, an accident. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is this build? Is this whole building gonna collapse right now? Well, the answer is yes, because we're gonna do this. 
It's devastating. I was surprised that the building's still standing, to be honest, or like what's left of it. This is so effective. See, now this, this is some uh, originality and ingenuity. Yeah, I definitely feel like uh, construction machines, we're, we're gonna see, we're gonna see some strong innovations in the future of our demolition equipment now that this game exists. Demolition engineers, take note. Just use the workshop from this to inspire your next generation of demolition machinery. Oh man, this is great. Imagine seeing something like this in real life. I know it will violate all safety standards and be a very, very dangerous vehicle to ever have in existence. You know what they should have? You know how they have battle bot competitions? They should have demolition competitions, not with like, I don't, I'm not talking about using standard demolition machines and who's the best at using them. I'm talking about creating unique and effective demolition machines. Effective purely for the purpose of demolition. No safety, <laughs> no safety taken into account as far as like collateral damage or anything like that. We'll create an arena that is safe and you can just destroy whatever you want. This is a competition I would pay to see. I just want to see machines like this in real life send rubble flying through the air. It saddens me to know that that will never happen, but the thought is nice. Okay, up next we have Doomsday Machine by Suit Leopard. I didn't, I have not looked at this one. I have no idea what to expect. All right, how much of a doomsday are we to, oh my goodness. That is a four barrel explosive cannon attached to a flimsy cable. What is it gonna, how, it, okay. That does not quite work how I thought it was gonna work. The truss is spinning faster than the actual cable is spinning. The connection point seems a little odd on this one. All right, well, I'm assuming T is to activate the cannon. So here we go. Okay, I gotta keep pressing the button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, it's, it's doing a kind of terrible job at hitting the actual buildings. Oh, I'm starting to tank the frame rate with all these cannonballs flying all over the place. All right, remember when I said it, was, it wasn't doing a great job at hitting the buildings? Um, I've noticed a sudden lack of buildings on this island, so I think I'm gonna take that- All right, let's stop. Stop! Stop with the cannonballs! Explode! Finish exploding, please! There we go. Are we all done? No, there's still explosions happening. And there's literally no building left. It's just rubble. Okay, lives up to its name. It's very easy to destroy things in this game, I'm realizing. It really gives you all the tools necessary to commit destruction. All right, this one by Camper TY Hammer Time. It just looks like it's a giant spiky hammer from the very small thumbnail. And uh, it looks like I was, ro oh, it's a rocket propelled hammer. This should be fantastic and all the rockets have overdrive on them. Great. I'm saying that like it sounds sarcastic, but it's actually great. Like I'm not even being sarcastic. All right, here we go. I guess we have to approach the buildings now. What an inconvenience. Are we ready for this? Here we go in three, two, one, hammer time. Whoa! I didn't know it was gonna be a transformer. What? All right, can I bring the hammer back now? There we go. It's, I want to see what... Wow! The tracks come up, the feet go down, and the hammer goes around. That was amazing. I, I really did not expect that. I was like, how do I put the uh, stabilizers down? I don't see a way to do that, but it's all hooked into one button. All right, this should be good here. <laughs> okay, I somehow missed it and got all of it at the same time. That was kind of odd. Oh, I'm just noticing. Look at, there's like cushions to catch the hammer, like su suspension. That's pretty nice. All right, time to say goodbye to this building, but we're gonna say goodbye in slow motion here. 30, 20% speed. Now we can actually see the transformation happen pretty easily. There goes the hammer. And right through the roof, all the way down to the ground floor. Oh, look at the, the curve of the smoke from the jet. Looked beautiful. Everything's better in slow motion. I'm really happy this game has a slow motion function. Ooh. Man, I love the particles of the thrusters in slow motion. It looks so good. Oh, man, look at this side of the building. All right, let's bring up the speed a little bit more back to normal. There we go. 
super satisfying. Okay, so here by Durgan, we have giant jackhammer. Seems pretty self-explanatory. I wanna see what a jackhammer looks like in this game. A giant jackhammer at that. Oh my, that is a that is a menacing looking jackhammer. I don't know why, but for some reason, having a jackhammer with a round metal ball instead of like a peg, it's a little bit more intimidating. We can move that up into, oh, ooh. Oh, that's satisfying and Look at, interesting choice having the rope there. I wonder if the rope is actually doing anything, like if it's actually stabilizing it. I don't know. But uh, we ready for jackhammer time? Here we go. Oh, I gotta hold the button down. Oh my goodness, that is, that is violently, that is a violently fast oscill. I mean, it's a jackhammer. That's exactly what a jackhammer is supposed to do. It is so effective though. Here, let's go ahead and look at, it just, it's like, it's like a knife through butter. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's just a very small area of effect, which I guess is good for precision demolition. You can just take out specific walls if you want to. Like what, to take out this wall right here? Ready? There we go. It's very, very precise. As precise as you want it to be or as, uh, as widely as destructive as you want it to be, as you can see. There we go, just turn through the building. Wow. I love the look of the arm though, how like the wedges coming together and they open up. <laughs> well, there's one support beam and we're already right through. Instant destruction, right on contact. Gonna go through the tower as well. Might as well just keep going. Oh man, those metal bars actually gave me some resistance. Oh, and there goes the whole tower. The whole top's falling off now. Here, let's get a uh, better view here. Look at that. The slow motion just makes it that much more epic. All right, putting it back to normal speed and it just falls apart when it hits the ground. So satisfying. All right, very well built on the arm there and it's cool that these pistons have an oscillate mode and he even attach, he attached an overdrive thing to the pit. It's just like the overdrive should be default at this point. Everything has an overdrive on it just because, you know, more destructive. Okay, this one, I'm really curious about this one. This is called the Compactor. It says, use this vehicle to turn buildings into dust. Expand the vehicle, get a structure inside of the cage and close the door to compress it. So I feel like we're just gonna literally, we're gonna crush a building. It's a building crusher. Okay, this is actually a lot bigger than I expected it to be. We got spikes all around this thing. These are all pistons. Whoa, okay, that's fast. That's really fast. All right, so we gotta we gotta fit a building inside of here because it doesn't compress any more than that right there. But look, it makes us jump up in the air. Are we gonna be able to control this thing? All right, this tower is a little bit too tall, but you know what? I'm just gonna take off the top like that. All right, so we do that. Then we can close the door. There we go. All right, are you ready? <laughs> I really don't know how effective this is gonna be, but here we go. It's too bad it doesn't get smaller than this. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do slow motion to see this thing compress on this building. You guys ready for this? Here we go in three, two, one, compress. Ah, uh, the building is like just the right size almost to not get actually crushed inside. I mean, it's kind of doing it though. I'm kind of falling on top of it now. Oh, and, well actually, it just imploded on itself inside. There's no more building. No more building inside. Works as advertised, no complaints. All right, then last up here is uh, by Mammoth94, the Singularity Tank. Now this is one I tested out beforehand because I didn't really understand what it was going to do and I figure it out and it's kind of ingenious. So there's this object I've never used before called the Magnet. And these are four magnets that are just strapped on top of this tank in a really interesting way. And you can see when I activate the magnets, you can see even the dirt is like, it's getting sucked into the magnetic field and uh, I can expel as well. And then one of the other things it does, is you can activate that. So I was like, okay, but this isn't doing anything. Like if I go near the buildings, nothing happens. But what you need to do, you need to first cause some destruction and watch what happens. And this, this is why it's called the singularity tank or whatever it was. Look at what we have in here. Does that look cool or what? 
I was not expecting that result. Oh boy, look at that. We got some bigger pieces now. Here, let's just take down this. Oh my goodness! It ripped the tower down once the base got disconnected. I hadn't seen that before. That was amazing. All right, let's see what happens with this tower once I take out the base. Smaller tower. All right, I'm gonna gently go through and look at that. Yep, the magnets just take everything else as soon as the base is detached. All the metal pieces just get sucked right in. And you know what, this deserves slow motion. Let's go super slow-mo. I wanna see what this, oh. Oh, it looks beautiful. This is amazing. All right, I'm gonna go up to regular speed now. And now what I'm gonna do is reverse the magnets and we're just gonna see what happens. Here we go in three, two, one, reverse. Isn't that awesome? All right, I have to see that in slow motion though. So we're gonna have to go, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go collect some more metal. As if this isn't a fun process in and of itself. Oh, look at the whole side of the building is floating. This is great. I mean, like the concrete pieces, the slabs, uh, we don't get to pick those up. We just pick up all the metal frames and supports. But if they're all still attached, some of the slabs get picked up with them. All right, here we go. We're back down to 10% speed. Look at all these metal bars we have. And uh, get ready because we are reversing magnet now. It's gonna take a little bit for it to, oh, there it goes. It's so satisfying. It's like a slow ramp up in speed as they all expel away like that. So this is just a small example of what the game is currently capable of and uh, the stuff we have on the workshop. Very unique approaches to destruction. There's a bunch of people creating super realistic builds based off of real things. And then you got this stuff right here. And this is just the beginning. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know if you wanna see more workshop stuff and in instruments of destruction. And uh, if you want to see more of just me trying to create things too, let me know if you have any suggestions for that down in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.